Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's a kind of sunny Monday and we have another in-depth collection video to go. So let's get to it. And take two once I set it up to record. So here we are with a C. So we start off with Chronicle. This is a home type uh, camera but with Dane DeHaan and that very, very good film I thought. Um, very little underrated. Uh, but like that and then we go into Chuck so we have season one here this is what I started watching with my wife so we've got season one then we have season two season three we're currently on so that is inside the house and we have four and finally the final season five so yeah the fifth and final season is there uh, then we move on to Churchill, the Hollywood years. This is a old one I bought many years ago. I watched it. It's okay. Bit of silly fun um, with Christian Slater. Not the greatest in the world, but I say just switch your mind off. Uh, Cinderella story. Um, I don't think I've watched this. Is is sealed. So um, I do quite like a lot of films with Russell Crowe in it. So I think this will probably be quite good when I get round to watching it. Uh, then we move on to City Hall, so Al Pacino there with one of my favourite actors, John Cusack. Uh, it's all right move, as movies go, nothing to really sing and dance about. Uh, then a very, very good film, City of Angels, quite sad in places. Um, obviously the song Iris from Goo Goo Dolls was on this. Um, yeah, yeah, very, good, very, very good actors all round, um, or acting all round, sorry. Then we move on to City of Embers, a kind of kid-friendly fantasy film. I see Bill Murray there and Tim Robbins at the top. So it was okay when I remember watching it. Nothing to really shout about. Uh, then we have Clash. Um, I've not actually seen this. Um, it's a martial art film, but there you go. It does say it's got the best action sequences. So when I get around to watching it, um, it might might well live up to the hype. Who knows? Uh, then we have Sam Worthington before Avatar fame of Clash of the Titans. Uh, I thought this was alright. Uh, a lot of people give it stick. Um, I, I, I I didn't mind it with a big crack in there on the back in the Pegasus. Uh, next one is Wrath of the Titans. Um, yeah, again, not the best follow up, but I still did like it. I still didn't mind it. Um, would have been nice to get some more from this series, but. No, unfortunately, Sam Worthington seems to either be very hit and miss. Uh, and then the final one on this is Class of 1984. Good old Michael J. Fox, kind of a bit of 80s, um, kind of a bit of blood and gore in there. Can't remember too much. I think there's a lot of killing and stuff. Then we move on to the next section. We have Clay Pigeons, a very... Probably Vince Vaughn film that no one's really heard of, and there's a reason why you've probably not really heard of it. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, then we have a special free disc edition of Clerks, um, big Kevin Smith fan uh, back in the day. Um, so yeah, have that. And I'm seeing to follow on that Clerks 2. I don't have Clerks 3, but I have seen it. I thought it was a good conclusion to it. Um, I do find that. As I've grown up, I don't appreciate them as much as I used to. There's Click. I quite a good Adam Sandler film in my eyes. Christopher Walken there. A bit same and a little bit different from what he's used to, but I liked it. Um, next, Clock Stoppers. A kind of late 90s, early 2000s. Kind of kid drama. Again, it was kind of going through the motions. It was okay. Nothing to scream or shout about. Close Encounters, the third kind. Really like this film. Only ever watched it probably when I was like twenty. Um, so I bought the collector's edition many, many years ago, and I've just not got round to rewatching it. Um, I might have to dig it out and rewatch it at some point soon. Then from the Wachowskis, we have Cloud Atlas. Um, like the fact that all the actors had multiple roles, but it was a little far fetched and quite a long, drawn out film. Uh, maybe again, it's another one to go back to. Uh, then we've got some good animation coming up. We're cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Love this movie. I think Mr. T played the cop. And then obviously if you've got one, then you're going to have to have two with the leak in the boat and the, the food kind of island. Then the kind of another home video on Cloverfield. I did really like this film, the home. You know, when they started doing a few movies with the kind of candid camera 
Um, I did quite like that. It was something a little bit different, and I think it worked quite well. And you didn't get to see the kind of alien until the end, which added some suspense. Um, then we have Clue, obviously. So this is kind of the movie of Clue, though. Really, really good. Kind of a very interesting end, as they have it as well. Um, but yeah. Coach Carter, so good old Samuel L. Jackson. I think this is loosely based on a true story, and it is, it is really interesting. I do quite like the sports ones where it where they kind of have it based on true events and what went on. Um, from my friend Kelly, obviously she got me into this film. I'd never even knew it existed in the early two thousands, maybe two, near two thousand and ten. Cobra, so I went out and bought a copy of it. Um, quite a good film from Stallone. Then we have Cocktail. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it, so I can't really judge it, but Tom Cruise early days. Um, then next to it we have the complete series of Cold Feet. Uh, bought it for my wife, we haven't got around to watching it yet, so can't really comment. Just has Emily of obviously Friends fame there. Move on to the third section, we have Cold Pursuit. I watched this, I quite liked this movie with Liam Neeson. Um, I quite liked the actor who plays a bad guy, I think he was in Vampire Hunter. Uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter even. Uh, then we have Collateral, obviously another Tom Cruise one, and yeah, playing the bad guy as well, which is a little bit different. I thought this worked out quite well. Um, I say it was just nice to see a little bit of a role reversal from Tom Cruise, and Jamie Foxx was very good in it as well. Um, I really, really like this. We went to see me and my wife went to see this. I think around Christmas time. Quite a emotional film with a you know a few secret messages in there. Um, I'm really, really good from Will Smith. It obviously shows that he you know. He does have some good projects behind him, regardless of what he'd done in his personal life. So collateral damage, good old Arnie, just doing what he does, going through the motions. But yeah, it's an alright movie. Then we have Collision. I bought this for my wife. Obviously, the main bloke is from Primeval. I know him. Um, she's not watched it yet, so I, I don't really know. But um, it's probably alright. She does like the British dramas and stuff. Uh, Columbiana says Zoe Saldana. She's a bit of an action packed one. It was alright. I mean, she did surprise me a little bit. She's not the best solo female action star, but it, it, it worked alright. And then Anne Hathaway in Colossal. I was very disappointed by this. I do like the kaiju type big films and that, but the twist and turns of how it happened and that, I, yeah, just, just left me a little flat. But that's me. And then with another Arnie one, so Commando, this is part of a set, so you'll see not for sale, it's actually come with a few of ones, I think with Predator 2 and a few, but yeah, yeah, it's a good, good Arnold Schwartz, I do like the action movies from the 90s and 80s. Um, then we have Committed, so have a Graham, yeah, it's, again, it's kind of like the traditional ni late 90s, early 2000s, uh, kind of poppy feely good feely film it was okay it's nothing to sing about <laughs> and i keep using that then we have con air a really really good action movie um obviously from jerry brockheimer obviously stars nicholas cage and john cusack who i like obviously john malkovich is very very good very very all-star cast in it um more arnie coming up so we've got obviously conan um, yeah, yeah, really like this. Again, my friend Kelly, she's really into this and kind of got me into um, The Barbarian. So I did quite like that. And then off the back of that, I had to get The Destroyer. Um, both good, obviously. James Earl Jones is in the first one. Uh, I didn't show him. But, uh, I think he is. If you go back to that one, do you, yeah, you see James, young James Earl Jones there. Um, then another Will Smith hit, Concussion, about obviously the Nigerian doctor who is trying to enforce um, scans and that because of obviously the force of concussion has on American football players. Very, very good film. Again, he, you know, he does do very well, Will Smith. You know, it's, um, he did and has created, I think, quite a good legacy in movies. Yeah, so just obviously the Oscar thing is going to go against him a little bit. Um, Condor Man, probably not many people heard of this. So this is Michael Crawford of obviously musical fame and, and Frank Spencer. This is his kind of, I think, 80s superhero from Disney. I really like this. It's very cheesy, but um, yeah, good. And then you kind of got the chick flicky confessions of a shopaholic. It was okay. Sila Fisher, I didn't mind it. I think is that Paul Rudd? No, it's not Paul Rudd. Um, 
and then confidence. Um, very good acting casting. Uh, it was all right. It was very, uh, you know, I think it was very up and down. I found with the story altogether, but it, as I say it was okay. I think I got it for a pound or two. As it says, right. Then we move on to the second line. So we have coming to America. Good old Eddie Murphy. Really like this. Um, haven't watched the second one yet, so I need to get around to that. Then we have Congo. Uh, again, loved that. Quite apes from the late night. 90s, obviously Ernie Hudson there. Then we have good old Mel Gibson, Conspiracy Theory. I really like this. It was um, uh, a very good thought-out story and a very interesting, not your typical ending as well, which I do like that sometimes. Uh, contract, Jodie Foster, Matthew McConaughey. Been so long since I watched this, I just remember what happens at the end. It was all right, as memory said. I've spe obviously got a special edition, and it's obviously the cardboard one, so you don't see that very often. Keanu Reeves playing Constantine, not really comic accurate because of his hair and smoking and everything else, but it was all right. I liked it. I hear they're going to make a second one, so I'm intrigued to see if that comes about. Hopefully, it's better than the Bill and Ted reboot or third one. Uh, Contagion, bought this a while ago, just before COVID, and then unfortunately, I've not watched it. And because of COVID, I've kind of shied away from getting around to watch it, but I'll get around to watch it one day. Then we have Continuum. Obviously, is the first season. I quite like this. Quite like the idea of the time travel and stuff. Again, another series who had quite a good and interesting ending. Um, I haven't got all the series because I ended up watching it on Netflix in the end. But I do need to go back and finish it. Contraband. It was all right from Mark Wahlberg. Not his greatest. Not his worst. Um, a series that might got for my wife. She wasn't says it reminds her a bit of other Brit old age British. Uh, kind of detective stuff, but yeah, she just didn't gel with it one, so I can't really rate that one. Then we have Conviction. Um, this is quite a good film. This is obviously Hilary Swank and Sam Rockwell. There, I believe she her husband is was in the army or something like that, and something happens to him. And she tries to get like um, justice for him. I think if I'm remembering the film right, um, and yeah, yeah, I thought it was quite good. Quite. A good set of actors and a good story and works very well. Obviously, you can't beat John Candy and the Cool Running Boys. Watched this with my wife recently and she really liked it. Elijah Woods in the Cooties uh, has its moments, but yeah, it's very uh, worth a watch. That's about it for that one. Probably the worst thing Kevin Smith has done. I don't like Tracy Morgan either, but yeah, cop out. Oh, you should have copped out from buying it, but hey ho. Uh, Coraline, I do like the stop motion. You'll see there's a lot of that in my collection, and I did quite like this one. Um, a little bit darker in places, but. And then obviously another Corpse Bride, another stop motion animation. Again, I did quite like this one as well. Country Strong, uh, I didn't really like this. This is obviously um, Gwyneth Paltrow as a country singer. Um, yeah, it's really good to kind of see an insight of what potentially could go on and stuff like that. And obviously, has Tim McGraw, who's a country singer himself. It's good to see him in it. Couples Retreat, Vince Vaughn, uh, kind of going for the motions. I didn't think much to this. But... Then we get to one of my favourite British comedies. This is Coupling. This is like the British Friends. Um, lovely series. So that's one. Series two. Free and unfortunately the best one in there, Richard Cole, bottom right, he left after season three and then obviously it got a bit panned and season three they keep his character in there because obviously he's the best thing but unfortunately that's it. Uh, obviously Richard Moffat created this so obviously of um, Doctor Who fame so interest me up. Courage and the Fire, thought this was quite a good one from Meg Ryan and Denzel Washington in regards to a bit of war. Cowboys versus Aliens. Um, I didn't mind this one. I say it's one of these ones I think I need to go back and have a rewatch. Um, late 90s, if you're a woman and you like music, Kai Ugly was all in your street. Adam Garcia there at the back. Oh, I don't mind it. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Cried to a Grave, Love Jet Lee. Um, Romeo Must Die was the very first DVD I bought. So obviously, I did get quite a lot of martial art films at him in. Obviously, DMX isn't the greatest, but I thought it was all right. Then you have Crank from Jason Statham. It, it, kind of silly, turn off your brain cover movie, but I quite like Crank. And then obviously we have Crank 2. 
got even sillier. But again, as I say, it's all right. One of my top five top five movies, Crash, loveless movie. Um, twists a lot of stuff on your head. You know, if you haven't seen this, I do recommend it. it you know, it is a wide open. Something I watched recently, Crazy Rich Asians. I really actually like this film, kind of. You know, as I say, I think I said in my review, it says, like, the best rom-com of decade, and I don't think they're too far off it, to be honest, because we don't get Crazy Stupid Love. It was all right from Steve Carell, a little bit, kind of a little bit different, uh, more like the 30-year-old virgin type from him, but it, it, it wasn't too bad. Criminal, Kevin Costner there. It's an all right, he's a criminal, they kind of need him to do something, it's okay. Kind of builds up at the beginning and kind of goes a bit flat. Then we go on to Criminal Minds, this is a series I started again with my wife. We're only, I know they've rebooted it as all carried on. So season one was good, Manny Patinkin, this bloke here, he was the best and it's a shame he left. Um, and obviously a big fan of Dharma and Greg, so there's the actor who plays Greg there, so there's... And then we have season three, four, five that we've seen. We started uh, six, I think we I think we were on to seven. Oh no, six and seven are here. So the seven is all we got up to. I haven't watched it all. Um, then we will swiftly move on to Crimson Peak. Um, not watched it. Label still on it. Uh, I was intrigued, but just yeah, I'll get around to it. Can't be. Crocodile Dundee, Paul Hogan, called out a knife. Love this movie. It's good kind of Hollywood watching, and then I'll see Crocodile Dundee and Crocodile Dundee 2 there. Oh, I've got them in the wrong order. Apologies, that was Crocodile Dundee 3, and then Crocodile Dundee 1 and 2. Uh, 3 is a bit bad, but yeah. Uh, uh, then a very good martial art film, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Um, very, very good if you like this sort of genre. Uh, then one of my favourite martial artists, Mark Dacascos. This is Crying Freeman. I believe this is from sort of, sort of anime and that. Um, very, very young Mark Dacascos. Very, very good martial art type one. And then the final one that we will leave it here is Cry Wolf. I have seen this film a long time ago. I, obviously, as you can see, I bought it and it's very faded. So I've had it a long time. Just need to get around to watch it. And there we go, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, obviously a keynote to people out there, I had to do this twice because myself as an idiot decided to have it on photo instead of video for the first 12 minutes. So that was a, a lesson well learned. Um, but yeah, hopefully enjoying the collection in depth. Um, obviously we are still on the C's. I think there'll be another one for C's and then I'll do a Disney video because we're getting close to that section anyway. Um, if you're liking these videos, uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, put anything in the comments you want below. Is there, you know, is there stuff you like and seen in the video, or is there specific videos you want me to do? Um, obviously, because I have so many, it's going to take so long. I'm happy to think about doing, you know, if people certain want like 90s action movies. If I do a barrage of them or whatever, you know, anything's welcome. Otherwise, I've been Cypher Sigma, and I'll definitely see you in the next one.